This is a case study from one of the members of my course, Discover Your Color Style. Once you go through the video, if you want more information about the course, you can click on the link in the description of this video. She has gray hair, almost like a silver, and bright teal eyes. They're very green blue. So let's look at her blushing colors. Now I've gone through all six cards and, and colorized her lips appropriately so you could see what she would look like in each of these sets of colors. I'm going to show them to you first and let you kind of make your own opinion of what you think she looks good in. And then I'm going to share with you how I got to my decision on her best blushing colors. So first we have bright and warm. Bright, warm, and deep. Soft and warm. Bright and cool. Bright, cool, and deep. And soft and cool. Now, I can tell you right now that there are a few that I already know for a fact will not work, and you may have seen them as well. One is the bright, cool, and deep, way, way too dark and harsh on her. And the same with the bright, warm, and deep way too dark and uh, harsh on her. So we're not going to even talk about those. So what's left is the bright and warm on the left and the soft and warm on the right. Now you'll see that I have a green check mark next to bright and warm because between the two, I prefer her in the brighter colors. It's not that she looks bad in soft colors, but the brightness about her, she can definitely pull off the brighter colors. Notice she's draped here in a bright coral she can definitely pull those brighter colors off. So let's look at the cool. We have bright and cool versus soft and cool. Same thing, she definitely needs that brightness. The soft colors really don't flatter her as much as the brighter colors do. So it's between bright and cool and bright and warm. So side by side, bright and cool on the left, bright and warm on the right, and I 100% love her in the bright and cool. It's bright and warm doesn't flatter her nearly as much as the bright and cool does. I don't, I mean, I hope you can see what I can see, but this just seems to accent shadows and lines that are, are just not obvious in on the left hand side. So she has cool undertones and she is bright. So she is bright and cool. So let's now look at the eye popping colors and if you're curious about these cards you're seeing these are the signature color cards you can get those at colorfans.com the eye popping cards are designed to pop your eyes to make them really stand out these are the colors that when someone sees you in them they will remark on how it brightens up your eyes and you usually look really really great in these colors so i first tried um, the cool hazel card on her and it's not i mean so here's the thing she looks okay but really it's not grabbing the essence of the eye the whole point of this exercise is to find the colors that really make your eyes stand out and for her with her eyes being teal she needs teal so i pulled up the some cards from the bright color set and draped her in the medium teal here and just look how her eyes just love these colors she looks so good in these colors as comparison here she is in the softer cool hazel that she looks very pretty in, in this color in this gray but it doesn't make her eyes pop so there she is in the medium teal there she is in the brighter turquoise still very very pretty uh even the deep uh, the deeper teal here over in the upper right because she has some depth about her and she can definitely pull off those darker colors. I really like that on her. And then just to see that like, if this color is a really great color for her, I, I tried the, the green, this kind of emerald green in the middle and I just love her. I start to look more green instead of blue in those colors. Um, you can see this is a deeper version of it, just looking really, really pretty. And then the lighter version of this color, I put on the lightest and she just really lights up in those light colors. So definitely bright and definitely has a beautiful range of colors and um, all the way from light to deep. I think that she can just pull these off really, really well. Here she is in the lighter mint green. Her eyes almost look mint with those colors. 
and this blue up here as well. So those cards are just perfect for her. And those are the colors for the for her eye popping color. So it's not the eye popping card, okay? It's these cards here, the 005 and 005A from the bright card selection. And you can see on the back here, this is where the numbers are. So if you have those cards, you can go find them. So you don't always have to use the eye popping colors if it's not working for you. Start, if you've got distinct color in your eyes, start looking for them in your color sets and your cards and maybe find those as well because she's gonna look amazing in those colors. That's the whole point, is to find the colors that really resonate with you and pull out those beautiful colors that you already naturally have. The next is the grounding colors. These are your best neutrals. I found for her the cool taupe I just love this deeper taupe on her. It kind of picks up the colors in her eyebrows. I just think she is so pretty in this. I also tried the gray, and that's also very pretty. It, here's a medium, uh, char like, a, like a charcoal gray on her, also very pretty. This comes down to personal preference. Which would you prefer? I kind of prefer the taupe, but I could also see how, could she, how she might want the grays as well. So the three core colors together now, we've got the, the eye popping colors over here, the bright and cool blushing colors and the cool taupe. And I also did it over here with the gray. So for the background neutral, the, 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 the neutral that you can wear to pull these colors together, I chose white. I just think that it just lightens her up. In fact, I draped her in white in the very first slide and she just, it just looks really great. I can see her in a really crisp white blouse with having that layered maybe underneath a deep taupe sweater or a cardigan or something like that very pretty so these are her core colors this is the kind of color analysis you're going to discover about your own colors in the course discover your color style this case study only covers the first three lessons of the course there is still so much more information that will guide you through not only figuring out what types of colors are going to make you look amazing that's going to help you design and create a signature color palette that you can use to edit your wardrobe and to shop knowing that the clothes that you buy are going to mix and match perfectly. What's special about this course is that it is customized for your specific coloring and tone and hair color, even if you've colored your hair. So whether you have brown skin, fair skin, blonde, red or brown hair, black hair, you'll be able to customize your colors so that they are perfect for you. So click on the link in the description for this video and check out the course and see if it's right for you.